Welcome to another Timmy Talks, the channel where we open old school magic. And this time we have an envelope from the Czech Republic from Petr. Um, he's a great guy. He's in Czech. I order stuff from him uh, from Magic Card Market, a uh, very reliable seller. And uh, don't you just love the Czech stamps? Is it wonderful? The birds and the bees, in this case the bees and the flowers. I kind of like it and um, as you can see it's stamped at 27.9 to the 27th of September and I'm actually opening this I believe it's the 4th of November now and this video will probably turn up uh, a week later on the actual channel um, but this took longer than a month to get here usually post from the Czech Republic I'm here in Amsterdam it takes about a week sometimes two weeks but now because of everything that's going on I'm sure I don't have to mention what that is things can take a lot longer and I actually thought it was lost and uh, Petr stayed in contact with me all the time and said you know um, it probably will arrive still and if not I'll give you you know we'll sort it out um, and it, it did arrive, so I'm like super happy because in my mind these cards were lost and I'm really happy because there's one special card in here that's actually a prize, so it's not for me, it's for one of the patrons um, because we had a Lord of the Jank tournament. Ah, look at it. We had a Lord of the Jank tournament. There's a nice invoice with everything I ordered. You can take a look. There's there are no secrets here. You can see what I've what I've paid for the cards. Um, I'm actually spoiling the cards now. This was not a good move <laughs> at all. Okay, forget what you saw. You didn't see it at all. It's still a secret. What could this be? Anyway, uh, the main card is not for me. It's for a patron. Uh, it's for Shane, and Shane has won this because he built the coolest deck. So he actually won the flavor prize of a tournament. That is called Lord of the Jank. And with Lord of the Jank, I challenged my patrons to build a deck of $200 or less. Um, and there's actually a website. So I'll probably just put a, put a link to the website in the description if you want to visit. So these three cards are for me. And this is actually for Shane. This is his flavor price. So here we go. And there is a Soul Net. I ordered this Soul Net because... Well, it's really nice art and yeah, maybe I can do something with it. I just, I don't know. I had this, this idea. Let's, let's order it. Let's see if I can do something with it. And here we've got a whiteboard. So whiteboard is actually a card that I want to try out in sideboards. As you know, in old school magic, there are so many sorts to blouse here. So I kind of want to see would white ward be a solution to kind of protect some of my key creatures um in certain decks so yeah i thought maybe i can just test this out i don't think i think it's just something that a lot of players don't see coming all of a sudden you're playing with white ward they're like what and it could be kind of a pain like worst case scenario they have to invest a disenchant into white ward to get rid of it you know and that would actually be great i guess worst case scenario is upon casting it on the creature in response, they remove the creature. Like they play a sorts in response, that would be worst case. But if I can find the right moment to cast this against the right deck, I think White Ward could be a problem for my opponent. So we've got a nice White Ward. And then the last card that's actually for me is a Wild Growth. Beautiful condition. I actually have, this is my third Wild Growth and they're all near mint or at least excellent. And usually I don't really care about that, but when I want to complete a play set and it's already in like excellent or near mint condition, I would like the other cards to be in a similar condition. The same thing actually goes for when they're in a played condition. I want to, I want the other cards to also be like played, heavily played or mildly played. Does that exist? Mildly played? Can you? <laughs> anyway, you probably know what I mean. You kind of want your play set cards to be in, in, in the same condition. So these three cards pretty nice and this is this is the main card this is why i ordered at petter and um shane this is coming your way if you're watching this you built a beautiful the ratchet deck very very nice I'll, I'll have a screenshot of the deck i think you know you're 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 the right winner for this flavor price for the kind of deck that you made and also 
the success that you had with the deck. So not only did you just brew an original deck, you also won your quite fair share of matches and, and single games. So here we go, boom! And of course, if you're having a Lord of the Jank tournament, you have to have a Lord of the Pit in the prize pool. And here it is, a beautiful Lord of the Pit, seven to cast, summon demon, flying and trample, a seven, seven, Martet in art. And uh, let's see what it does again. So flying and trample, you must sacrifice one of your own creatures during your upkeep or Lord of the Pit does seven damage to you. You may still attack with Lord of the Pit, um, even if you fail to sacrifice a creature. And remember, you must sacrifice a creature. So it's not optional. You have to sack a creature. If you can't, it deals seven damage to you, but you can still attack with it and it doesn't tap itself. So you know, things could be much, much worse. Great card, a lot of ways to actually use this. I think it's been a little bit underplayed in my opinion. I just think it's such a powerhouse and the fact that you only take seven damage if you can't sacrifice a creature and you can still attack with it, I think that makes it that makes it a pretty good card. And you know, you can use cards like Animate Dead, Soul Exchange to get it out of your graveyard. There are like many, many interesting ways of how you can play this. You can use Breeding Pit, you can have all sorts of other creatures that you can create and then sack to the Lord of the Pit. It's just a lot of potential, this card. I feel at least. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite way of playing with Lord of the Pit. That would be great. Um, Shane, this one is coming your way. I actually want to keep it, but hey, you've earned it in the Lord of the Jank competition. Uh, I would like to thank everybody for watching. If you want to support the channel, um, you can like, subscribe, share this on your socials. If you're not uh, a member yet, subscribe, leave a comment. That also helps. So let me know what your favorite Lord of the Pit combo is. And now let's go to the end scroll and let's take a look at our fantastic, amazing patrons and channel members. Ik het dus, ik het dus, somber gezien.